Welcome to a tutorial on how to build a walk-along glider. A walk-along glider is a lightweight model aircraft that is engineered to fly slow and also has the ability to be influenced by a ridge lift, which is basically a wave of air. This tutorial will help you make your first walk-along glider and I'll also teach you how to fly it. If you are under the age of 8, please ask an adult to help you. First, we need to assemble our equipment. You will need one pair of scissors. You will need three sheets of styrofoam, 1.5 to 2 millimeters thick. They will need to be 15 centimeters by width and 30 centimeters by length. You will also need templates of the glider you're going to make. The links to both the templates of the gliders I'm going to build can be found in the description below. You will also need some tape and optionally you can get some wire as well as a pair of pliers and a thick book. I slice my foam myself. I did this by making a styrofoam cutter. These are some of the clips of it in action. If you have difficulty with opening the links, then you can always follow this tutorial on how to find them yourself. First, open your web browser. Type in Science Toy Maker. Click on the first link. Scroll down till you say Air Surfing with Very Thin Foam. Click on Mosquito Pattern or Mama Bug Pattern. And this should open, and then you can print it from there directly. The first glider we are going to make is called the Mosquito Glider. Take your scissors and roughly cut around the first glider. Remember not to cut too close to the lines because this will help us later on. And for the mama bug glider, you will also need to roughly cut around each wing, being careful not to cut too close to the edge. Unfortunately for this template, you will only be able to make one glider instead of two. And now you can go get your three sheets of styrofoam. Take your mosquito glider template and rip two small pieces of tape and put one either side of the glider, as shown in the video. After you have done this, stick your template on the sheet of foam, but remember not to bend the tape around the foam. Then take your scissors and cut exactly around the template. Remember to cut as close to the lines as possible, as the more precise your cutting is, the better your glider will fly. Remember to cut around the pieces of tape and not through them, as we will need them later on. Take your templates for the Mama Bug Glider and rip four small pieces of tape and secure them on either side of the templates and take each template and stick it on a different sheet of foam.
to repeat this for the other ring as well. We will now make the folds of the glider. Put the glider nose first into the thick book, only leaving the elevons out. Then take a ruler and push the elevons up, as shown in the video. I found it more effective to rub the ruler back and forth, and this will give you a better fold. I refer to this as the ruler method later on in the video. Now we will need to do the camper folds. These are the two folds at the front of the glider, which form the nose. Slip the glider into the book, leaving only one of the camper folds outside, and then flatten this down with the ruler method, and then take it out and repeat for the other camber fold. The last fold we need to do is called a dihedral. This fold goes right through the middle of the glider, and when folded gives the glider its slight V-shape. After slipping half the glider into the thick book, take your ruler and push the wing upward. After taking your glider out the book, reinforce all the folds by bending along the creases with your hands. Then cut a small piece of wire using your pliers, which is around 0.5 centimeters thick, and attach this to the nose of the glider using a piece of tape. If you do not have wire, then you can take a thin strip of paper 0.5 centimeters by width and 8 centimeters by length and attach this to the nose using tape. Now take the two wings of your mama book glider and follow all the steps exactly the same. To form the dihedral in the mama book glider is a bit harder. Take the two wings and put one piece of tape in the middle, and take another piece of smaller tape and put it at the front of the glider. After you have secured the tape, take the glider and put it tape side down on the thick book. One of the wings should be tilted down. Put a piece of tape on the middle of the top wing and then slowly press it down on the bottom wing. This will form the dihedral of the glider. Now we have to repeat the same steps as we did with the last glider, but with a longer piece of wire or a longer piece of paper, and we will attach this to the nose of the glider. Your first flight might look something like this. If the glider stalls, that means it needs more weight at the front, 
and if the glider dives, that means it needs less weight at the front. Keep in mind this video is slowed down. If the glider keeps going to the left, you need to bend up the right elephant, and if the glider keeps going to the right, you need to bend up the left elephant. Here's a clip of me flying the mama bug glider. To start to fly, you're going to need a cardboard box or a sheet of poster board like I have. Keep the board under the glider as shown in the video. The first few times you start to fly will be quite hard, but as you practice it will get easier. To turn in a certain direction, just tilt the board the direction you want to go, but always remember to keep the board under the glider at all times. Thank you so much for watching guys, I would be really grateful if you guys could do the survey I made. The link is in the description below.